हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज योर फ्रेंड मोहित सो वेरी सॉरी आई वाज वेरी बिजी इन लास्ट फ्यू वीक्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन माय ऑफिस वर्क कुडंट मेक एनी गुड वीडियोस बट या वी आर बैक एंड या दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट अ रिस्क डिफाइंड मंथली ऑप्शन स्ट्रेटजी फॉर समवन लाइक मी समवन लाइक यू हु आर वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल एंड वांट टू डू सिंपल स्ट्रेटजी नथिंग हाई फंड okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, discuss the strategy what it is when to enter how much capital required uh, what kind of adjustments we might do and what would be the best way to do the adjustment meaning at what trigger levels all right so uh, what we have here is some rules and adjustments <clears throat> so first trading rule is that strategy should be done for working professionals at least to have 5 lakh of capital and can bear 1 to 1.25% of risk uh, so on 5 lakh capital your risk would be something like uh, 5000 to 6000 or maybe 7000 max so that should be the uh, mindset you should have and kind of capital uh, although we will not use entire 5 lakh um, it will be only needed if we need to do extra option selling otherwise at times we may not need it okay and you can use the remaining margin uh, meanwhile to do your weekly options uh, strategies this is a monthly strategy so we need to have a mechanism in place so we will set price alerts when we need to do an uh, immediate adjustment because we are busy in our own life so first thing we'll start is we'll create a or rather enter a at the money long straddle so when i say long we are going to buy uh, a call and a put in this example right now market is at 18000 so i am taking the live uh, closing example as of today's sunday uh, so we are buying 18000 call and put uh, one lot so sorry this is the typo it should be it should be one lot okay we have to buy each one lot so you can see in the below uh, example it is one one quantity each so once you enter this what we need to do next is we need to go 100 points up and 100 point down from the add the money meaning 18000 plus 100 and 18000 minus 100 and we we'll have to sell three times the call and put so if you do that the strategy would become something like uh, double ratio right or you may call it batman but just not proper batman or something but it look something like this where we have uh, at the money straddle uh, long and thrice the quantity uh, in 1 is to 3 ratio uh, we have done a sh uh, short straddle here out of the money 100 points each so essentially it will look something like this all right so now we have uh, totally um, naked position on both sides on two two remaining lots so to cover the unlimited loss scenarios on both the sides what we going to do is we will go further 400 points from the add the money so 18000 say 18400 on the call side and we'll do the same thing go down uh, 18000 minus 416 Seventeen six hundred put. We're going to buy in two lots or double the quantity. So once you do that, this whole uh, payoff graph will look something like this with a V-shape uh, structure in the between. All right, you can see one, three, and two. So you can call it double butterfly or whatever, but it'll look something like this. What you have to enter. now if you see this is the complete uh, strategy as of now uh, which is like the entry uh, point where we are and the, what are the parameters looking like so you can see the total risk uh, on a 5 lakh account is somewhere near 1 to 1.25% which we can easily bear for the month all right uh, but this will this maximum loss would also not happen uh, because we will do adjustments in something and uh, we'll eventually try and come into the profits whatsoever profits may be you can uh, once i finish it you can go ahead and do some uh, simulation in opstra or other uh, accounts where simulation is possible then check uh, the strategy returns for yourself 
moving on uh, so you would have seen this was a v shape kind of a structure so this v shape would be at the point where we did our option selling example 17900 we said we sold three lots of put 18000 18100 we sold three lots of call so what we need to do is we need to mark both these levels in trading view uh, as a line or you have can have some indicator or something if you have and set price or set price basically our agenda is to set price based alert triggers at this level uh, okay this is something like this the levels are actually coming after it but the idea was to mark these levels in trading view uh, so let me just quick let me remove all this by the way bank nifty fell uh, huge uh, on friday uh, let me do something what you need to do is get to this trend lines uh, get a horizontal line and mark at 18100 Uh, which is this level, and mark another at seventeen thousand nine hundred. So, which will be somewhere down below. So simple. Uh, if you don't have some kind of an indicator or to handle things, you can always put some horizontal lines. Now, what you need to do is select this line, all right, uh, and say right click, add alert on horizontal line. So once you do that, you will say Nifty. i'm going to put an alert on nifty whenever it crosses okay you can see crossing up or down also but it crossing winning up or down whatever it crosses they will trigger an alert and uh, click on only one so you want on once per bar and you can check the trigger setting whatever you want and you can say i want this alert at least till you know feb expiry so i'll just set this as the expiry date you can say uh, uh upside uh, adjustment whatever ce something you can give a name to it all right and go to notifications set everything uh, you will get an email alert mobile alert um you sound beep on your system sms everything you can get and click on alerts now this alert will go there in this site and it will sit uh, over here right so likewise you have to set an alert for downside level as well so idea is to get alerted uh, when the price has uh, breached that point okay it can be a small uh, gap down gap to gap up as well so we need to have alert mechanism ready to be uh, taking an action now once we have done this uh, we'll move ahead let's say market has hit uh, downside level it has gone down it has hit 17900 first so you book the 18100 call uh, so we sold three lot you can uh, roll down it by 50 points meaning out of three take one lot out and roll it down by 50 points meaning uh, this is the point a i just explained bring it down to a, it at the money plus 50 points now if you are trading in even quantities say for example i trade in even quantity you can uh, in two uh, six and a four or any other even number uh, so you can also bring 50% down uh, of the overall quantity and then again we need to set alert for the lower break even point L lbp means lower break even point so in this scenario it has let's assume it has gone down so what we need to do is in this example i've shown uh, we are bringing down two uh, lots because i'll eventually do 50% so i'll just show an example of two lots So eighteen thousand we squared off, uh, and two lots of eighteen uh, fifty we have added. All right, so this is a way to do it. They will not get these prices when the market has gone down. So eighteen thousand fifty would not be at three forty one. It will be a little lesser than this. But anyways, just now to take a screenshot, I am taking example of current market prices. But of course, it will be different prices when you do it, and it and a different kind of a payoff as well. not not the same pay off you will see at that point of time all right so once this is done now we have revised break even points which is this level uh, 17640 and on the upside 18900 we need to now go into trading view again or if you use zero the you can use sentinel alerts whatever you want to use and set price based alerts 
again for adjustment number two when it whenever it comes all right the same uh, adjustment is applicable if the market would have gone up so the same we would have done shifting our put up by 50 percent quantity by 50 points and so on now let's assume market has gone further down okay now what we can do is we can bring full call sell quantity lower now we initially bought 50 percent down for example now we will bring in the whole uh, quantity down so basically we book the remaining one and bring it down by 50 percent you can see now the previous example like the market has come here at uh, the lower break even point and we have bring the whole thing down by 50 uh, points you can see plus three to square off the earlier one and sold another three right to bring it down now you can see the loss on the upside is reduced uh, significantly whereas loss on the uh, loss on the upside has increased significantly but on the downside it has reduced uh, by a great deal and we also have some buffer margin because we are trading on five lakh of capital we can use that if we need to now what if uh, market continue to trades below or low, lower break even point and only we have to do such uh, further adjustments if we are in the third week of the month okay that means that theta decay would now be accelerating you so we'll, what we'll do is we'll start selling 20 delta calls in this scenario because market has moved significantly down over here somewhere here it has come so we'll go and sell 20 delta calls you will go to option chain check whatever uh, is the 20 delta call in this example i found uh, 18650 but when market would be significantly down it will it will not be 18650 it will be something else so you need to check at that point of time but for an example i have shown in uh, uh, the delta or greeks or you know the premiums available at this point of time you need to sell that and buy 10 delta calls for the hedge all right so it will be like your credit spread you will start adding on the top you don't have to use the whole remaining margin uh, at one go to do this you start with one third quantity and then slowly scale uh, to reduce this uh, downside loss if there is any all right so that uh, you utilize the full margin if need be and then there is no loss on the downside if the market has gone all right so now market if has gone down from 18,000 it has come to right now I'm showing like 17, 300, 700 points it has come down in 15, 20 days then it will found, find some support at some demand zone level or something as well right uh, very rarely it will go just keep on tanking so in that case uh, we can't do much we can uh, do our additional credit spread uh, selling credit delta call selling utilize full margin and do not get into any losses if market continue to fall and it come back to the lower break even point at this point if it goes down now started to come back if it reached at this point of time what we need to do is the call hedges that we bought for example the two lots that you see 18400 right you need to bring it inside you need to bring this 18400 to 18300 all right by the time you do this you will be already in very good profit so you can decide if you are getting a good uh, return on your overall margin you can try to exit otherwise if market would have totally tanked down you wouldn't have been in much loss what were they showing you uh, showing earlier as a loss of uh, 6000 or something that i said like it will not happen to us and on the upside also uh, we are significantly far away from our credit spreads that any loss can happen all right so uh, and the, the, some of the premiums, uh, OTM premiums are little inflated due to the budget coming ex ex uh, etc. as well. So these would not be this expensive uh, in, in a real case scenario. But of course, everything depends upon how the IVs and VIX is uh, trading at that point of time. So we'll do this adjustment to make a downside uh, even profitable. And we can also uh, take help of reverse adjustments of uh, Iron Fly if you know that. You can try and make this whole thing loss free as well so this is very basic i have explained someone who is a working professional and should have a mechanism to 
initiate a trigger alert and already know in advance what kind of adjustment he or she should do by himself and not depend on any anyone or any team for example so this is the way to do it uh, let me now talk about the margin required to enter this trade so to enter this trade you need uh, around 3.38 lakhs uh, although the the sell legs is hardly i mean hardly away from uh, uh, in, in i mean <clears throat> from atm uh, but if it in case zeroda doesn't let you if you are using zeroda uh, doesn't let you enter a sell trade uh, then this margin is required otherwise you won't even require this much margin the overall market margin required would be somewhere around uh, 1.25 lakhs or something and the remaining can be as i said earlier can be used for your weekly option selling strategies whatever you are experts are already experts some of you guys are right So this is the margin requirement strategy, and the remaining margin is only used if we need to sell credit spreads or do further adjustment to reduce the loss of the whole trade. Otherwise, we won't need. But if you calculate now, if you calculate the returns of this, do some uh, extra uh, back testing or uh, stock mock simulations, you'll find good results. You can test it for yourself uh, with all adjustment based upon the alerts levels I have told you. all the rules are defined right uh, so you can check that and uh, maybe if i get time i'll do a simulation video on on maybe next weekend or if i get time uh, so yeah been very busy these days uh, with lot of projects going uh, so yeah wanted to share this quickly and uh, our video is already getting low so thank you very much if you like the video the um, the idea and or or, or the concept uh, or just the you know me sharing something with you uh, with no genuine you know no hidden agenda or something so you just can like the video subscribe uh, be connected you all uh, know me and my twitter id and everything is there down below otherwise you can reach me out um, here i'm on twitter instagram and i'm active on the twitter no, not much active on instagram only sometimes really i open it and i'm active on linkedin yeah all right thank you for watching and let's uh, try to implement you can do one or two months of of stra paper trading and uh, let me know wh what do you think about it just put the whatever comments you want to put in just throw in there down below and i'll respond thank you bye bye